Okay, what is the situation? Uh, hardware devices uh, produce a uh, huge number of interrupts. Okay, for example, uh, FX Bank produces uh, about uh, 1,000 uh, interrupts a second. Okay, four port uh, PRI produce, uh, produces about uh, 4,000 uh, interrupts per second. Okay, so what happens with the server and with operating system when the interrupt occurs? Okay, operating system stops current processes. Okay, uh, runs special uh, software that is defined. Uh, uh, that is assigned to this interrupt handling. Okay, in our case, what happens? Okay, we get uh, interrupt from Astri Bank. We get on this interrupt during this interrupt. We get um, PCM. Uh, we called Echo Counselor that consumes PC uh, CPU also. Yeah. Uh, and uh, send this uh, chunk of data to asterisk and then we return from uh, interrupt and then the server can continue its uh, regular work okay so it's, uh, it's job okay now what we have for example in our servers we have uh, uh, dual core e 8400 processor Okay, so it's dual core. Each core performs uh, with frequently uh, three uh, three gigahertz. Okay. Now, when interrupt interrupt secures, it's very important that interrupt handling will be evenly distributed between CPU cores. Okay, and uh, this. What happens with uh, old and good Intel uh, processors like uh, uh, Core 2 Duo, like uh, Quad Cores, and it, what doesn't happen with uh, very powerful Xeon processors, it doesn't happen with very powerful i7 processors, i5 processors, and i3 processors. Okay, so. In case of this processor, we have just two cores, but each core work relatively quickly. Okay, and if you will compare uh, performance of server equipped uh, with this CPU and uh, another server that is equipped with i5 processor, you will see that if you have a big enough number of Astri banks, okay this processor will perform better. Why? Because, let's say, i5 uh, processor with uh, core frequency, let's say, 2.6 gigahertz, okay? And uh, let's say you have here four cores, yeah? Uh, and uh, despite of the fact you have four cores, all cores, all interrupts, will be handled only by, let's say, two of them, okay? So this core and this core will be utilized for 100%, and those two cores will be free, okay? This is the situation that we saw in case of uh, IBM server. More than it, if you enable hyper-threading in the BIOS, Okay, uh, each uh, physical core will be divided into two logical cores, threads, hyper threads. Okay, so instead of four cores uh, with frequency 2.6, you will have uh, eight cores with frequency 1.3. Okay, so interrupt handling will be very, very slow. Okay, and results will be corresponding to it. I think you have uh, four cores, but with hyper-threading you have eight cores, okay? And uh, usually ma on motherboard you will find uh, one or two USB controllers, and uh, one USB, so let's say you have uh, eight USB sockets. The sockets are connected actually to 
usually two USB controllers. It doesn't matter. Uh, uh, there, there are controllers, not just hub, controllers, okay? So uh, one controller will be handled by one core, another controller will be handled, uh, handled by another core. Okay, that's what we see. And uh, we tried uh, to use uh, and to check uh, some parameters uh, in Linux. In Linux, actually, you can uh, define what cores uh, should be used uh, for handling uh, particular interrupt numbers. And uh, despite the fact that for USB controllers uh, uh, were defined uh, that all cores should be involved, we saw in reality that just two of them worked. And uh, by the way, we needed uh, uh, to distribute uh, our Astri banks uh, between two controllers experimentally. IBM server was equip equipped with uh, Xen uh, uh, CPUs. But after that, we tested also i5 and uh, i I7 we didn't test, but it works in a similar way. And we try to get an answer and uh, help assistance uh, from Intel, uh, we didn't get it. From IBM also. Uh, in the IBM guys were very surprised, but uh, uh, nothing more than it.